Hello again, and welcome to your last day of trig identity substitution. So go ahead, title this video even more integrals using trig identity substitution. be day three last day okay so we've done Pythagorean identities we've done double angles the last ones we're going to use are the sum and difference identities and those are the sign a plus B and cosine of A plus B. And those are the ones that have the chance to help you remember them. So sine of A plus B, we go sine, cosine, cosine, sine. And then cosine of A plus B is cosine, cosine, sine, sine. So sine A plus B is sine, cosine, cosine, sine with A and B. And with sine, the signs stay the same. So if it was plus, it's still plus. If it's minus, it's minus. So sine, cosine, cosine, sine. The other one is cosine, cosine, sine, sine. Again, with your A's and B's in there. But with cosine, signs change so sine same cosine change so that if it was plus it's minus if it was minus it's now plus so how can you use these with some integration it's a little tricky not hard but tricky got three examples evaluate first one we're going to do the integral of cosine of 7x times cosine of 2x dx. So we talked about yesterday the derivative of what gives you cosine, sine. So if it was just cosine of 7x, it would be sine of 7x over 7. And if it was just cosine of 2x, it would be sine 2x over 2. And unfortunately, you can't just do sine 7x over 7 times sine of 2x over 2. It doesn't work that way. You can't multiply. You can't just take each piece. That's when we've used u sub in the past or some other rule. So I need to rewrite this in some way that I can take the integral a little bit easier because u sub is not going to work because if I let u equal one of these pieces, derivative of cosine is going to give me sine, and that's not what I have over here. So here's the trick. We need to get something that would have this term in it, cosine, cosine, which is right here. If I did cosine of 7x plus 2x, I'd have a cosine 7x, cosine of 2x. So look what I do. I do cosine of 7x plus 2x. That would be cosine, cosine, sine, sine. with your 7x and your 2x. Signs change with cosine, so it's a negative in there. Okay, but I can't just solve for this piece because then I still have this problem over here. Well, look what would happen. If I did cosine of 7x minus 2x, I'd have exactly the same thing cosine of 7x, cosine of 2x, but it'd be plus in the middle, plus sine of 2x, or 7x, sine of 2x. 
Anyone have any idea what I'm setting up here? I want this piece, which is fine. It's in both of them. I don't want this piece. One of them's minus, one of them's plus. So if I added these two lines together, what would we get? Well, those would go away. This would be 2 cosine of 7x, cosine of 2x. And if I actually write what these are, this is really cosine of 7x plus 2x is 9x, so that's cosine of 9x plus cosine of 7x minus 2x is 5x. And then if I divide by 2 to get rid of that, I have a new expression for cosine of 7x, cosine of 2x. Okay, so now I'm going to come back over here and make that substitution. So this integral is the same as saying the integral of, now this is over 2, I can put that out front, I can make that a 1 half. And if I bring that out front, right, that's going to come out front of the integral also. 1 half of cosine of 9x plus cosine of 5x dx. Now, why is that good? Well, because now this isn't multiplied. It's plus. And when it's plus, I can just take the integral of each piece separately and be done. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. This becomes 1 half times, again, the integral of what gives you cosine? Sine. So it would have to be sine of 9x over 9. Because if we were taking the derivative, we'd multiply by 9. Integrals backwards, so we divide by 9, plus sine of 5x over 5, plus c, and distribute that 1 half through, and we're done. We have sine of 9x over 18, plus sine of 5x over 10, plus c. Got it? Good. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do the integral of cosine of 5x times sine of 3x dx. Okay, now again, multiplying is bad because you can't just take each piece separately. So we can use the double angle identities, and I want something that has cosine 5x, sine of 3x in it. Cosine sine, I could have it right here, right? So if I do, if I use the sine of a plus b this time, I'll have something with cosine and sine in it. Now this one was cosine cosine, which is why I knew to use cosine of a plus b. Since I have cosine and sine, I know to use sine of a plus b. Okay, so let's figure out what we've got here. We would have sine of 5x plus 3x is sine, cosine, cosine, sine. So sine, cosine, plus cosine, oops, 5x there. Cosine, sine. This is the piece I'm going to want to solve for eventually. But before I can do that, I'm going to have to get rid of this piece. So do also sine of 5x minus 3x. It's going to be the same thing with a minus sign in the middle. So sine 5x, cosine of 3x, minus cosine of 5x sine of 3x. Okay, this is the piece I want to solve for. Right now they're going to cancel out. I don't want them to cancel out. So instead of adding them, what should I do this time? Subtract them. So then this is going to be a minus 
this is going to be a plus. Okay, so then this piece will cancel out, which I didn't want. Over here, we would have 2 cosine of 5x sine of 3x. On the left side, we've got sine of 8x, but now minus sine of 2x. And again, I don't want that 2 here, so we'll divide by 2. So cosine 5x sine of 3x is equal to sine of 8x minus sine of 2x all over 2. Now let's make the substitution. So that over 2 is going to come out as a 1 half again. So 1 half times the integral of sine of 8x minus sine of 2x dx. And again, multiply is bad for integrals, but subtraction and addition is not, because I can just take the integral of both pieces. So we'd have 1 half times the derivative of what gives you sine would be negative cosine. So negative cosine of 8x over 8 minus negative cosine of 2x over 2 plus c. Obviously, minus a negative turns positive. And distributing through, we've got negative cosine of 8x over 16 plus cosine of 2x over 4 plus c. Getting the hang of it? Okay, let's try one more. I'm going to make a new page. Okay, number three. Last example. Let's do the integral of sine of 9x sine of 5x dx. Okay. So I want something with sine sine. That's going to be cosine of a plus b again. That has sine sine in it. So I would want to do cosine of 9x plus 5x is cosine, cosine, sine, sine. So cosine, cosine, sines change minus sine, sine. This is the piece I'm going to want. So let's do cosine of 9x minus 5x also, which will be cosine of 9x, cosine of 5x, plus sine of 9x, sine of 5x. Now again, this is the piece I want, so I don't want it to cancel out. So we're going to have to subtract again. Make this a minus, make this a minus. So then this will be the piece that goes away that I don't need. Now I'll have negative 2 sine of 9x, sine of 5x over here. On the left, I've got cosine of 14x minus cosine of 4x. I'm dividing by negative 2. Okay, so now we can make the substitution. I wanted to solve for sine of 9x, sine of 5x. That's equal to this. So what's going to be out front? Negative 1 half times the integral of cosine of 14x minus cosine of 4x dx. So this is negative one half 
derivative of what gives you cosine? Sine. So this would be sine 14x over 14 minus sine of 4x over 4 plus c. And finally distribute that negative 1 half through. So we'd end up with negative sine of 14x over 28. Negative negative makes this a plus sine of 4x over 8 plus c. And we are done. Okay. So once you try a few of those, those become not so bad. And those are easy to recognize if you look back at the sheet you're supposed to do. Those are going to be the last three because those are the ones that have sines and cosines multiplied. So you can do those same steps for five, six, and seven. The other ones you could do from the previous days of notes. Again, number four is just, it's a regular U sub. I don't want to say simple U sub, but there's no huge trick to it. If you do get stuck, email me and I'll give you a hint. But you should be good to do this whole sheet now because you are done learning new notes. Best of luck.